Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we are going to be doing the BoxyCharm review for the month of January. I do have my products over here in my basket. Um, so the first thing that I did receive is the Dr. Scrub, which is the microderm exfoliator. So that is what that looks like there. And then I did get a watermelon glow with niacinamide. It's a sunscreen and it has an SPF of 50 in it. So, and then I like the packaging, it's really pretty. So that's what that looks like. And then I did get the Farah Smooth Focus Face Primer. So I can't wait to test this out today. So that's what this looks like today. All right, so I did get the Cupid's Arrow and this is like a eyeliner. I guess you can use it for eyeliner. And it said, I think it said lip liner as well. That's like a multi-use um, liner. Um, so this is what this looks like right here. I did get a Laura Mercier eyeshadow stick and I did get mine in the shade Rose Thorn. Um, so that's what that looks like right here. All right. So it's going to be a pretty quick, you know, video because I just have like an eyeliner, an eyeshadow, and then I have sunscreen and a primer. So as far as the scrub goes, I'll use that probably at nighttime, test it out, come back and let you know how I feel about this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids, even still, even though I'm using the, um, like an eye crown right here, I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit in for a couple minutes here. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin uh, before I put that primer on. All right, so now that that has set in, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the crown. Again, it is in Rose Thorn, and we'll see how this works here. So this is what it looks like. This is the color here. Okay, so this is my first time ever using like a little um, eyeshadow as a crown. So I'm gonna take a little brush and see if I can blend it out some. I'm almost wondering if I should have set my eyelids first with like a translucent color with the eyeshadow primer, but I'll just go ahead and work with what I have. So I'm just gonna take a little brush and try and blend that out. Okay, so I'm just gonna take like this little flat brush here. I'm just gonna try and blend this out here. I do like it, it's a very pretty color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the next eye as well. Definitely looks better after you blend it out with a brush. I find if you pack it in, then it blends out better than just swiping it across. So, 
Okay, um, so we'll go ahead and put on this eyeliner and see how that one is. And this is what that looks like here. Oh, this is very pigmented, very black. Okay, so I do like how that turned out. This is very pigmented, um, both the eyeshadow and the um, eyeliner, very pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the uh, Farrah Smooth, Farrah Smooth Focus Primer. That is a tongue twister on this package. So we're gonna go ahead in with that. Let me see. Okay. So this is more of one of those like gel type of consistencies. I'm gonna go ahead in with my foundation, uh, bronzer and blush, and then I'll come back and I'll finish up the eyes. I'm not gonna do anything drastic today or you know, big glam, just because I'm just reviewing just a couple products, but I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. So I did my foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, and with this uh, primer, I can say it left my skin really dewy. I'm not saying it's not a good primer, but it definitely left my skin very dewy. So I had to put a bunch of powder on just to set my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'll test this out and let you guys know like a part two or something, continuing it on. I may try it out with different looks and see if it's better. I may switch my um, base setting spray and see how it works with that. But yes, this left me very dewy. And then let me go ahead and finish up my lower lash line and then I'll put on my mascara and that's gonna complete the look. Um, so I'll go ahead and finish up my lower lash line here. I really do like this eyeliner. It's nice and black. I really like this. And it's nice and creamy. So is the eyeshadow stick. Very nice and creamy. And you know what? We may as well just take it down the lower lash line just to amp up the look a little bit. Okay, so you can't really tell on the lower lash line. Not to me anyway, it could be the lights too. You may be able to see it, hopefully you can. It's a real pretty color. I'm just going to take a pencil brush and blend it out.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Essence Mascara. Yeah, I decided I'm not gonna do lashes today, so. Okay, so I will go ahead and give a rundown now of the products that I did use, which is only a couple. Um, so the primer, again, very dewy, but again, I will continue doing reviews on this to see how it plays out in the end. And then as far as the eyeliner, very beautiful. I love it, very pigmented. This is something that you will really like if you like that really dark eyeshadow look or that dark eyeliner look, either way. So that's very pretty. Then as far as this eyeshadow stick, very pretty. I like the color. Um, it's pretty purple, like a purplish, deepish, reddish color, and it has sparkles in it. So it is very pretty. I do recommend those two products. As far as the sunscreen and the exfoliator, I will review those. I'll probably do that in like a nighttime skincare routine or even a morning skincare routine. And then I'll let you know how, you know, it does on my skin. Do you guys have BoxyCharm? Is any of you subscribed to BoxyCharm? Do you like BoxyCharm? Do you want to continue seeing me do videos of BoxyCharm? Let me know. Um, I like it again because you get to test out new makeup and it's for, you know, a reasonable price. Um, so it's a good way to, you know, explore new products and everything like that. And tap in on the reviews. So that's it guys, that's it for the video. Please feel free to subscribe if you have not already. I will have more content loading as usual. And as always, stay blessed.